Hello, I'm Ron Soyland. This video, we will go ahead and make a reproduction Fleming valve, Fleming diode valve. This, this tube was made by Fleming back in 1904 or 1905 maybe. And um, it's a very interesting uh, tube. Let's take a look at it in the book. Now this book is the best book that you can find on old tubes. It's um, the Saga of the Vacuum Tube by Tyne. He did a marvelous job on this book. I love it. That's just the best book I've ever had on vacuum tubes. Okay. Um, the tube is kind of an egg-shaped. It's, it's, it's not spherical. It's kind of egg-shaped. Um, the plate lead comes out through the side of the envelope. Okay, that adds a little bit of a challenge to it, uh, glass blowing wise. Uh, the filament leads come out the bottom and it's mounted in a nice little wooden frame. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, make the glass and um, then once we get that done we'll go ahead and make up the frame. And in the end we're going to have one of these um, one of these Fleming valves just like it looks in the in the book. Okay, first we're going to start by blowing the envelope. Um, we're going to use a piece of um, inch and a quarter uh, glass tubing to start with. We're going to put our uh, pressure thing on there, a little bearing and stuff, and we'll mount that in a lathe. So we'll just do it there. Okay, we're going to use the very large tip and um, let's see what we can do. First we have to do what's called pulling a point. To pull a point, we're just we're going to close the end of the tube off so that we can go ahead and um, make it a nice rounded end to blow the bubble. Use the masher tool. Warm the glass up. Just grab it and pull a point. Now we're going to just take the end of the tube and we're going to round it off and make it to where the end of the tube has the same body wall as the side of the tube. That way when we blow the envelope it won't be thin. Now we're going to blow the envelope. Now, with that envelope, if you remember from the picture, it's a little bit longer than it is in diameter. So we're going to make it about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter and about two and a half inches long. We'll heat up about as long of glass as we're going to make the bowl. We're not going to heat it up to where it's too soft. We want the glass to be about like peanut butter. We don't want it to be so soft that it starts to run. Alright, that looks about right. Now I'm going to put pressure on the tube and start blowing.
right now is we're going to extend the bulb down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now that's going to be our bulb, our, our envelope for the tube. Now what I'm going to do next is we need the evacuation stem sticking out the bottom. Got a little piece of tubing here. This is um, quarter inch tubing. I've already sealed the end off on it. Um, we're just going to seal that onto there. We're going to blow a hole in the end of the tube and we're going to seal this onto it. Now we use the small torch and we're going to heat the end and we're just going to put pressure on it and we'll blow a hole in the end of the tube, end of the envelope. Now, we're a little bit off-center with the hole, which is not important at all. I'm going to get this stuff off here. What I'm going to just do is I'll just adjust the position of this chuck to where the tube is right on center. It's not that critical. It'll it, we make up for. It. I'm gonna put a little bit of a flare on the evacuation stem so that it'll match up to here better. Use a carbon tool. Warm the end of it up. Press the carbon tool in there. That just puts a little flare on there so that it'll match up better. Now we're just gonna heat the two up. By using the lathe, we can just push the two together. Okay, they're molten. I'm now pressing them together. I'm going to pull it back apart. Now I'm going to use pressure to go ahead and even out the glass. Heat it up. Okay, that seals it onto there. Now what I want to do is Make sure that the tube is exactly on axis with the envelope, and it is. Now, this is a little big diameter here for our flare. So what I'm going to do is heat that up and, and reduce the diameter of the, of the stem so that it'll be more appropriate for our flare. To do that, we just take the large torch. Start off a little bit slow. Doesn't take, take too much to, to bring it up. We can just start off a little slow, and then we just go right on to it. If we were using soft glass, we'd have to be a lot more careful. But with Pyrex, we can just throw the heat to it without too much uh, worry about it shattering. Now what I'm going to do is just take the lathe and I'm going to pull the chuck apart and that'll just draw that down and it becomes smaller in diameter. Okay, now I'm going to use the carbon tool and I'm just going to take this thick area here where it's tapered and I'm going to just press that up to make it a little bit uh, more even. Just going to warm it up. 
and just press that in. Pour it up a little more. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, we'll let that cool off, and then we'll use the diamond saw to cut it off. Now, to cut it off, we're going to use the diamond saw. We have a motor, and we have a 4 inch diameter uh, diamond saw blade. This is a lapidary saw. It's about four to six thousandths thick. I have some four thousandths thick, and some of them six thousandths thick. And um, they're, they're available on eBay for about 10 bucks each. And they cut through the glass absolutely uh, wonderfully. Much, much more efficient than using like uh, pieces of hot wire and all this other Mickey Mouse stuff that other people try using. Now we're just going to cut that off right about there. Use a little bit of WD-40 to go ahead and lubricate it. takes it right off. I mean, that thing goes through that glass. It just uh, very efficiently. Okay, and that's our envelope. Next, we're going to make the flare. The flare is the part that goes on the bottom of the envelope. We use a piece of 3 8 inch tubing, and we just clamp it in there, we heat it up, and we just spread it out. Okay, to do the flare, we're going to use the medium sized tip. These change out very quickly. It's a very efficient way of uh, doing this. The original National has a threaded insert. It takes a lot of fooling around to change the tips. Using these little quick connects are much easier. Now we're just going to take the carbon tool and then heat the end of the tubing. Stick the carbon tool in there and I'm just pulling out on the glass. Now it's furring a flare. Okay, that's about right. Let's see whether it fits. Okay, that looks perfect. That looks just right. That's our flare. Fits right into the tube there. And that'll be just sealed around there. And that will uh, form the bottom of the tube. And our pinch will be made right here. The next thing we have to do is make electrodes. 